phone's a little hard. That's okay. Alright. It's fine. We'll be good. Right here, someone. Furry friend tag questions. Furry friend tag questions. Here's a summary from Mama's Lawson in. Furry friend tag questions. What is your pet's name? What kind of pet is it and what breed? Where did you get him? Her. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? And more. Okay, Hazel. Mm. Oh my, there's a lot of questions, but we'll do it. Okay. Hey everyone, it's me Hannah, and today I'm going to be doing a really, really, really exciting video for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing the furry friend tag with my dog. And um, before we get started, I'm not trying to brag about any of this video. Please be nice to my dog. She's a sweet, sweet dog. Hazel, okay, so sit. Sit. She's a sweet dog, and she would love to do this video with you guys. Okay, no, not yet. So, we're just going to get started. So, what is your pet's name? She's a girl and, oh, she's a girl and her name is Hazel. She's a girl and her name is Hazel. So, that is her name. Is your name, right? Okay. What kind of breed is, what kind of pet is... What kind of pet and what is its breed? She is a Chihuahua Terrier mix. That is the kind of breed she is. It. She's a dog and she's a Chihuahua Terrier mix. Where did you get him or her? I got her at TG's Rescue Hideaway Place. It's a um, place where they rescue dogs out of abusive homes. And yes, she was abused. She was from an abusive home and I rescued her. I got her from the place where they have the dogs, and that's where I got her. She's not going to be too much in the video, but... What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Um, I don't think she really has any too quirky things, but she likes to lick couches a lot, and it's kind of weird. She likes to lick stuff. I don't know why. She's just really quirky when she does that. I don't know why she does that, but that's how she is, and that's how my dog is. Hazel, come on! Come on, Hazel! Okay. That's a little something quirky about her. What? Um, how, what does your relationship mean with your pet mean to you? A lot. I really love my dog, okay, so it's kind of a funny story on how I wanted a dog. I'm kind of just going to tell you. Um, so about last summer, this was last summer, um, last summer I, we moved into my new house that I'm current moved into our new house last year, which I'm currently in. And, um, I guess Mommy's fiancé was over at his, Rihanna's house and his ex-wife's house. And, um, I guess apparently there was a dog over there that just ran over there. And that was in a box, it was in a box, and it came over there. And it was there for a little while, and the, her, his ex-wife couldn't keep the dog because it was a boy. And she both has girl dogs and they're not fixed. By the way, Hazel's fixed. So, um, I was sleeping, actually, in my bed. And I guess my mom knocked on the door and 
my mom surprised me with a dog, and I was like, oh my god, a dog, and it was like, I don't know, I think it was a Yorkie something mixed, and, um, it was healthy, we fed it, we gave it food, we, um, gave it food, we fed it, we didn't know really what to do, and, um, we named him, I think, Sparky or Scruffy or something, I don't know, but, um, I think that's what his name was, but I couldn't keep him. So, we took him to the vet the next day, and he was microchipped. He belonged to someone else, I couldn't keep him, and it was kind of sad that I couldn't keep him, but the owner took him and gave him back, and yeah, I couldn't keep him. So, that's how I got Hazel. So, and I looked at a bunch of other places for dogs, and just a bunch of other places, and um, so I got a dog, and that's how I got Hazel. What are your nicknames that you call your pet? I don't really call her any nicknames, but I call her... I don't really call her any nicknames too much, but I call her a nut sometimes, but that's about it. I don't really know. Um, how long have you had your pet? I've had her since last summer. I've had her for about only one year now. I've only had her for a one year now. So, does your pet do any tricks? Um, other than lie there, um, other than sleep and lie there, she does do tricks. She can jump real high up. She can run really fast. She can chase balls when I give her a toy. And, um, that's about all she does. She doesn't really, like, do anything else but that. So, yeah. Does your... What is your pet's favorite toy? Her favorite toy... I don't really know if she has a favorite toy, but she really likes, um, her squeaky toys, and she really likes squeaky balls. I would say her... I would say my favorite that she has is this, like, little... Um, seahorse, I would say that's probably her favorite that she likes. So, yeah. Does your pet destroy anything? Um, she doesn't really destroy things, but she'll, like, destroy her, like, little, um, what do you call it? Um, animals, she'll take out the stuff and then the squeaker. Other than that, she doesn't really destroy anything, so, yeah. What... What, how would your pet react if an intruder was in your house? Well, she's a very protected over our house, and she's very protected over it. I think she'd probably bark, and I'd probably call the police, obviously, obviously. I'd probably call the police if someone was in our house and wanted to try to take her, and yeah. So, I'd probably do that. What is your pet's favorite treat? Um, her favorite treat, I don't really know, but her favorite treats are like rawhide free bones. She loves those. Those are her absolute favorite. We gave her rawhide bones before because we didn't know. Um, and apparently it made her very sick, so we don't give her those kind. Apparently they're not really good for dogs. And, um, like little dogs I heard they're not good for. But, um, yeah, those are her favorite treats. Other than that, she doesn't really like anything else, but she does eat some that I give her, but other than that, she doesn't really like too many, so yeah. Can your pet swim? I don't know. I never put her in the pool, but I don't know if she could. I'm not 100% sure if she could, so yeah. Does your pet... Do you crate your pet? I don't know what that means, so we're just going to skip it. What is one negative thing about your pet? Um, other than, um, lie there, only one negative thing that I have about, I don't have really anything too many negative about her. I mean, other than all, she's a pretty good dog, but she does, um, he's like, I can't see. I can't see. You sit over there. I can't see. The only thing that I would say that's negative about her is that she pees and poops in the house. That's probably about it, but I don't really have a problem with it, but it is kind of negative that she does do that. But, I mean, other than that, I don't have anything any anything else. Does your pet 
does your pet sleep with, sleep in your bed with you? Um, not really, because I like to be, like, by myself at night. But she will sleep with my mom, and that's about it. But if I had to keep her in my room, I don't know if I could, because I do, like, my door shut at night, so I don't know. So, I would let my cat sleep with me, though, but... What does your pet love most? Me. She loves me a lot, and she loves everybody. She loves my cat that I have. Her name is Bella, and I don't. I didn't want to do that video with her because she wouldn't sit still on my bed. But I really didn't want to do the video with my cat because she'd be scratching me and whatever. But she loves my cat, and she just loves my cat a lot, and she loves everybody. She does not like, though, the only person that she doesn't like in the house is our other cat that we have, is Tiger. She don't like him. I mean, I don't think she hates him. He, she just doesn't go near him. That's all. But, yeah. Does your pet have four legal BFF? Um, I don't know. The only BFF that she has is my, um cat and me and my family she doesn't really go i took her to like a dog park once she didn't really do anything with other dogs because i feel like she doesn't really like like being near other dogs because she was probably never around other dogs but other than that she tries but other than that i don't really know do you dress your pet up yes i do sometimes i will dress her up sometimes she has a couple of outfits i will dress her up sometimes because yeah I will sometimes. I don't do it all the time, though. If you could get any other pet, what would it be and why? Um, I don't think I really want another pet because I have everything that I like. If I had to get another pet, it would probably be a chinchilla, but in the future. But other than that, nothing else because I really think chinchillas are really, really cute. And that would probably be something I'd want again in the future. But as of right now, no. But that would be a pet that I would like to have. And I think that was it. But I don't think these are the original questions to this video. But let me see. I don't think these are the correct ones. Okay. I think these are the correct ones. Oh, I think that's... I think that was all. I'm guessing. That was a little too short, but... Let me see if I can find anything. I think that's all that that was for the questions, but I'll tell you some more things about my dog. Um, yes, she was abused by people that abused her, and did. she was in a cage all her life, and um, that's about it for that. And I'm actually going to do another video after this on advice for guinea pigs, cats, and dogs. I'm going to be doing those type of videos after this, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video about my dog. And, and she's microchipped and everything. She's fixed and everything. So, yeah. That is it for the video. Bye.